Need some comfort food to keep you warm during <laughs> the cold winter months, yes. Chef and lifestyle expert Ashton Keefe is here with some warm and cozy dishes that'll satisfy your comfort food cravings. Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me, yeah. This is my favorite kind of food, <laughs> big and comfy. It's amazing, and it's January, it's cold outside, yes. this is exactly what you want to be eating. So they're a little bit of elevated comfort foods just because, you know, why not? Uh, right. We're all foodies now, so make it a little bit more um, high end. So we're going to make a seven layer dip, which is a little bit more, again, elevated, but still that same comfort food mm -hmm. feeling. Mm -hmm. So we have a white bean dip um, instead of that refried bean that can be just kind of a, not as Instagrammable. So we're, <laughs> so we're going to do white bean. Um, and then if you guys would be so kind, we're going to put sour cream in. So that's a staple. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to do guacamole. So you can just go ahead and just layer that all in. And I love to pair this with like a big big, bold Cabernet Sauvignon. So we're using a Josh Sellers Cabernet. Mm -hmm. um, and I find that the tannins really kind of cut through all of the fattiness of your seven layer dip. Perfect. So it doesn't need to be anything crazy, but then I'm going to throw guac just right on top, mm. which everybody loves guac. Like. <laughs> you can also, like, half of this doesn't even get in there for me because I just eat it on my own. <laughs> That's that. Um, and then what we're going to do, we can sprinkle some jalapenos okay. right there. And um, same thing, I'm just going to have you dump this pico on top. So again, salsa, you could use anything you have. I'm going to put cilantro leaves in just like that. So the nice thing about this is it. You really can't go wrong with how you're building mm -hmm. it, right? It's not, can't go it wrong at perfect. all. I absolutely love this. And then here is my favorite tip about this. I actually put like a little bit of a salad on top. Ah. Just kind of makes me feel better <laughs> in the comfort food. And then this is the best part. I'm using burrata. So like we said, those that uh, the tannins from the wine cut, kind of help cut through all the fat on the uh, wow, seven layer dip. Good. But burrata is like the new it dairy, so mm -hmm. it goes well on everything. And that's that. That's great. And it's funny because with the salad on top, it doesn't look like a seven layer dip not at all. all. No, not at all. all. It's amazing. So then that is our seven layer dip. Yeah. And that actually would be good for Super Bowl next weekend, right? It would be excellent yes. for Super Bowl. And the meatloaf as well. So I. Ooh. This is a great Super Bowl mm -hmm. um, tip, and I actually, what's great about this is I'm pairing it with the Colleen Cabernet Sauvignon, which is created by Jim Nance, the sportscaster. So oh. it's perfect for Super Bowl next weekend. Right in theme. Right in theme. <laughs> Sports and food and all that good stuff. And of course with the mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. A must. Yeah. You have a must. to have mashed potatoes with yeah. it, yes. All right, so this is chicken and waffles. Yes, chicken and waffles is also a really great staple, but my trick for chicken and waffles mm -hmm. is I'm going to put honey on top. So if you see, there's actually like a little container yes. that it looks like it's syrup. Up, but it's actually uh -huh. hot honey. Oh my goodness. So if you want, you can just drizzle that right on top and then you've got the spicy and the sweet. And I'm pairing this with a Chardonnay. This is um, a French Chardonnay. Uh -huh. So it'll just kind of nice, the nice structure, the acidity will break up the, the salty and the brininess of the chicken. And I love this all day. Does not matter. I don't you don't have to eat it for breakfast. Am I, putting, am I supposed to be putting it on the chicken? Yes. Okay, all right. Putting, yeah. putting it on the chicken. Okay. Because I the agree. chicken is nice and salty and then the oh, honey is nice and sweet. So the honey, does that have uh, like red pepper flakes in there? It can does. You, can you buy it that way or do you have to you make it? You can buy hot honey or uh -huh. you can make it yourself. Just put red pepper flakes in the honey and then you've got hot honey. That's easy enough. Yes, it's very easy. All right. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> I mean, this is just something that you'd have on a Tuesday afternoon or um, for comfort food on a Sunday. So this is, I use Gruyere and Swiss, and mm. then I just take tomatoes. And the secret to the tomatoes is I actually put a Parmesan cheese rind in the tomatoes and then blend it. So it adds like a nice umami and saltiness, but it's not hard at all. You just right. throw it in there and let it simmer away. I love, like you, you, like you said, you just step it up with one little thing. One little thing. And then again, we're doing Barona Fini, Pinot Grigio, again. Oh. Italian, mm -hmm. Italian, you know, tomato soup, Parmesan <laughs> cheese rind. It's just like a natural pairing.